Well, we just pulled up to an area, took first cast, and hooked up. I'm Larry Ladowski with Midwest Outdoors. Today, welcome to Southwest Wisconsin and Lake Agonza. I'm fishing with a, a very old buddy of mine, Tony Puccio, local guide and all around good guy, PWT guy a long time ago, right, Tone? Wow. <laughs> Since it started, 1991 <laughs> or 1990. Wow. We're going to fish Lake Agonza. They've got a variety of species in here. We're basically gonna just see what the day brings. Got him on a Berkeley flicker shed. And this is an excellent start. You ready, buddy? Oh yeah, oh yeah, you're ready. <laughs> you got a little better one this time. Ooh. Yeah, this is a little better fish. He was hungry. You know, the guy has to show me up. <laughs> All right, come here, buddy. Come here, you're worn out in this cold water. Uncle Tony will get you, just relax. They fight good, too. Boy, they are pretty. Yep. All right, little buddy. I saw him fo follow. He give off? Yeah, he's right there. I got him. I don't know if it's the same one, but. It's amazing that they have three hooks in their mouth and they can get it out. How is that, Tony? That, that one's a little bigger than the one that was on mine. Come on up here, buddy. Look at him how he wants to swim to the bottom. Well, he doesn't want to come in here, that's for sure. He's saying, who are those guys up there? Come on. Well, I guess he's hooked good enough. Talk to me, little buddy, talk to me. boy. Another good specimen. They are definitely a pretty fish and they love to eat. One of the favorite baits I like to use are the hip sticks from Berkeley because of the weights they have in the front. And when they fall, when you jerk them and you stop, they fall down this way. And that's important. So it falls like a diving minnow. Oh, there's one right there. Get him. I got him. I got him. Hit on a, you know, stop and go, stop and go. He swung at that bait and he, he hit it on the twitch. Come on, about it. Let me get him in there. Boy, they're healthy. There we go. He's got food in him. He's been eating. You ready, buddy? You know, a lot of guys question, you know, how their depth finder reads. Uh, you know, if they don't take the time to move into areas, like right now, we're in four feet of water. We can see the sand soft bottom. The down scan has this depth in here of the white. It's reading down into the soft bottom. On your sonar here, you see that your bottom line is not very dark. If it was really hard bottom here, that brown, dark brown line would be deep, another eighth of an inch or so down into this. My best way, I tell people when I do seminars and stuff, is to go into sandy areas where you know, where you can see the sand or you know it's there, see how it reads and move out. Go to where there's gravel or rock on a rock bar and see how the depth finder picks it up. So you have to learn, go out, experiment, and don't fish, just study your depth and your graphs and how they mark where you're at. And then you'll remember that for as long as you live. He's on there. Here's a key, a real key when you're when you're using planer boards. Tony's gonna take the planer board off. I'm gonna I'm gonna lift it up Back out of the water. We're gonna go. bring it up. And we wanna make sure there. No that it comes off as easy as possible so that there's no I mean it's like it's like giving it's like giving a fish slack when you're when you're bringing it in. You never wanna do that. Walleye. 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 All right, we're gonna make sure he comes in the boat. Yes. He always hooked. Hold them right there. Thank you. There you go. That's an eater size. Is there a limit on this lake, Tony? 15 inches. That's a that's a legal fish right there. Beautiful. I love walleye. Look at that white tail. Well, love to eat you, but we're gonna let you go today. It's your lucky day. There's a fish on here too. All right, the captain will catch one. Good. I like that. Now I can demonstrate how to do this when you're by yourself. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna bring it to about there. I bring the rod in like so, and then reach up, undo that snap, keep the tension, 
unhook this snap, see where my hand is on the rod, and I start reeling from here. Nice, nicely done. This could be a walleye. It is a walleye. Yep. You're the man. Nice walleye, too. Yep. You want a net? No. No. Look at the way he's hooked. Yeah, I see that. And we got Berkeley 15 pound fluorocarbon line. Way to go, Tony! That's a beautiful fish. Well, Tony has been a great day, mostly a pike day, but. Hey, we ended up with a couple of walleyes. This is a nice fish right here. And how do they get a hold of you to fish this area? SeriousWalleye.com is my website, and my phone number is 608 212 6464. And the nice thing about going out with a guy like Tony is he will teach you how to fish, he will show you the ropes of fishing. I want to thank him for joining us today. Midwest Outdoors, we'll be right back. I'm Larry Ladowski, and we'll catch you later.